September 27th, 2023, Memorial of St. Vincent de Paul, Priest. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle, torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord, my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt. And for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord, our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude, our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus, he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The response is, Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God who lives forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise. Blessed be God who lives forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases, and he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. They then set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. 